Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about how we can create a website in 30 minutes and host it online. I will show you what's the final view of the website which we are currently building. This is the final outcome of our website. We have a navigation bar and we have a intro part and a feature area and menu section with a beautiful hover effect and a footer also we have another page called contact and we have a little form over here and a map section and and a, an address part also this menu is working perfectly fine when you click it's navigate to that section let's start we are going to create a good looking responsive HTML website and we use Tailwind CSS for that so we'll tell you where we can find all the Tailwind components and how to edit and add your own contents into it First, I will explain what is Tailwind CSS. Tailwind CSS is a framework which helps you to build responsive website and it has some pre-built components and cards. Now, in this video, I am going to use TailBlock components to create the website. This is TailBlocks. Here we have lot of components, lot of pre-built components. We can change the color or we have a bunch of options here. All set. Now we are going to create a website for a coffee shop with home page and contact page. So let's jump into it. Now create a folder and create a file with dot html extension and open this in sublime test. Sublime is a powerful lightweight code editor so you can use it I highly recommend this and I just creating my boilerplate and adding the title okay now we have to link our CSS the Tailwind CSS actually uh, we need Tailwind CSS version 1 so I do have the code now we have to add some components to our website so to do that go to tail blocks and we need a navigation bar so we can use this this navigation bar and click view code and copy to clipboard and paste over here okay save that open and open this and you will be able to see the navigation bar added into our web page now now we need a hero block so let's find that okay 
this one is good enough copy to clipboard and paste it under the header okay good enough and we need a feature we have to add some features so find a good block or component for that okay this one is good copy copy that and paste after the section and we need menu go to that okay this one this one is enough and copy that paste under that and we need footer block let's find a footer hmm. this okay copy and paste it okay now now we got our design template ready so we have to add our own contents into it starting from the top we are changing this name to coffee day that is fixed and we need to set our menus like home about sorry about that sorry we don't have an about page features menu and contact we don't actually need this button so we are removing button top to bottom save that refresh that's gone now we need to add a heading okay that's enough we starting we need to add an image to here so actually i do have download all the images which in which we need for this website i do have all products images and head image so i just copying that sorry about that i pasted the entire folder over here now we have now we have to add the image images slash okay head dot jpg ok 
ओके इट्स लुकिंग गुड राइट नाउ वी हैव टू ऐड दिस सिक्स प्रोडक्ट्स इमेजेस गोइंग टू बॉटम ओके हियर images slash products coffee coffee dot gpg let's check okay it's work good and we just giving a name coffee so now you able to see the name and you can add whatever content you want i will add all these six images just copying the file name and paste for the next coffee one sorry coffee two coffee two then c3 and 4 5 6 have to add we have to change this name to menu our menu on the top okay this one our menu okay fine then we have to change this part of features okay Here we found that. Okay. Now we have to change this to twenty-four into seven. I'll find the label. and what about it okay so we we just need to change the icons too so to do that we need svg icons so you can find free svg icons on hero icons this website so we need a clock icon and we got it just copying the same time um, it's automatically copy uh, the svg code so we want to replace in here this is the image svg code and just replace it and here here is our clock but it's look very small so we want to increase the width and height to do that here you can see in svg class width 6 and height 6 we just changing that to 10 with the height 
okay we just changing both this to changing the size and the free wifi all set now let's look into our website we have a menu and a nice looking in draw and we have features and we have menu okay we will change this name to the bottom can find Ten blocks to coffee day. It's done. Now we want to link these menus. To do that, okay. Here we need to add a tag half. and here we are adding an id here too okay. i'm sorry 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 i forgot this is not a uh, php it's html the contact page we didn't create it we will create soon now we have to assign these ids into the sections so this is our feature section so we have to assign the id to the section and we have one more the menu section this is our menu section you can see that our menu and assign that menu okay save it and now we can check okay now features our menu now we have to create our contact page to do that create a new file control n control s for saving contact dot html create that file and copy the header file including copy the entire header file including the menu and paste it over here and when we go to menu we will see that the navigation over here too because we copied that from index and we need same footer which we had here so copy the footer footer part okay inside of this we need a contact block to get that we have to check the tail blocks okay 
okay this is what this is good one it's a good one copy to clipboard and we want to paste that after the header if you refresh you can able to see that the block is working that's all and we have two page website we have contact page and home page and we have menu and we have features and all okay this is our website we have to host this into a real server let's do that to host a website on the internet you need a unique domain name and a hosting account to do that currently we are using the server orbits go to serverorbits.net and check uh, the domain name which you want so here we are going to coffeedaywebsite.com yeah and the domain is currently available coffeedaywebsite.com uh, this for just demonstration purpose and click add to cart and click checkout and it's showing now hosting click to add click over here and choose a hosting plan here we can choose a basic plan 2500 rupees per year and the domain and we got 3499 for one year and click checkout you have to fill up your information and click complete order that's all actually i am not going to register a domain name or buy a hosting because i do already have so i have to log in into my account okay go into my services in my services get my toolkit dot online and i click login to c panel it's redirect me to the c panel now i am in and click file manager go to public underscore html if you open your website the get my toolkit dot online in browser you will able to see this view the index of because we don't have any file uploader over here so we have to upload our website to do that go to our folder and make a zip the entire folder and drag that zip into it upload completed reload and extract the zip file once you have started now you can check your website and you will able to see the website is up and running that's it how it's look like and you can delete this file
we don't need this anymore and that's all hope you learned something tell me when you are going to create us comment your answers